Hi, welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk about how property passes through intestate succession. Intestate succession means the person doesn't have a will. If you die testate, it means you had a will. If you die intestate, it means you didn't have a will. If you a person does not have a will and they die, the first of all, the property that they have arranged to be conveyed or transferred to somebody when they die still sticks. Okay, and that means if you have pay on death on a bank account, if Joe marks pay on death to Susie, when he dies, Susie goes in, shows a death certificate, the account is transferred over to her. We are familiar with beneficiaries on life insurance and beneficiaries on retirement plans. Those beneficiaries that are designated with the company, again, show the death certificate, transfer the property. Cars can be titled that way, transfer on death. Real estate can be in certain states. You can have a uh, testamentary deed that is recorded, that pass, that will be recorded at the time of death that's executed, that will pass title. Parties that jo own property jointly will automatically transfer to the other person if it is with rights of survivorship. That would be joint tenants with rights of survivorship, then the property will transfer to the person who, who outlives the person who died. So those are separate rules and those are followed. Then if there is a will, then the property will follow and pass according to how it is written in the will. But if there is no will and there is property that's not otherwise designated to go to someone, this is how it works in the United States for the most part. So a person who is married, the property will transfer to their spouse. If the person is married with children and they get divorced, at the time of their death, then their property will be transferred to their children. If a person is single when they die and they have parents who are living, one or more, it goes up and it goes to the parents or the parent if there's one. If a person is single and they die without a spouse, without children, without parents, it next goes to their brothers and sisters. And in most places, if there is a brother or sister who has died, but they have children, then their share would go to the children of the one who died. And then you go further from there. So if you don't have brother, if you don't have a spouse, you don't have children, you don't have parents who are living, you, your brothers and sisters have all died before you, but you have nieces and nephews, then it goes to them. So hopefully you can see how that works. But that is called intestate succession. And that's why when someone dies, you have to tell the court who the immediate family are. And if they die without a spouse or children you have to go further and that is why it's only it goes first to the immediate family and then it goes up to the parents and out from there so I hope this was helpful if it was and you learned something give me a thumbs up leave any comments or questions below subscribe to see the other videos share this with someone it might benefit come back and see me next time thanks for watching